Hi folks. So today the interview question is very simple. Here we have a two columns. Okay, the input table is having two columns. One is having ID as well as string here. The column names are sample string, sample ID. And at the same time, output is having sample ID, sample string. Here, what we are doing, just we here we have a one based on ID, we have a different string values we have. So first, if you consider it, one is having A, at the same time, two is having B. Again, one is having C and two is having D and three is having E. So when you are going ahead and what is the output they are expecting? So one, whatever is associated the strings, right, with one ID, they have to comma separated. They are expecting to be written, to be written in a comma separated. How we can solve this question? So whenever you have this kind of question, right? So you need to understand which function it is going to be work out for this particular particular question. So to do that, right? First in Oracle, we have a list ag, list aggregation, list aggregation. What this particular function does, right? It is going to be written the entire rows into a single, single string into comma separated and the delimiter is optional. Whichever delimiter you wanted to keep, you can take. So here the list tag function going to take three parameters. One is column name, another is delimiter and another is within a group, how you wanted to order the column, how you wanted to order the column. Let's take this and let's prepare the test data. So column means the column which you are going to concatenate. And a delimiter is optional. You whether if you are if you don't give any delimiter by default, it is going to it is not going to take any. But if you wanted to give delimiter, you can specify that delimiter. At the same time, you, this is an optional optional clause. Whether you wanted to give or not to give, it's up to you. So for that, whatever the question we have, right? Let's prepare the let's prepare the data as well. So here I have prepared the I have created the table as well as I have inserted the data directly we can go ahead and we can query this you can see here this is the value now the query we have to write it up like this using the list tag select <clears throat> so based on what you are doing based on department nothing but a sample id you can take sample id column here sample id sample id comma okay which and which one you are going to concatenate which column you are going to concatenate you are going to concatenate sample string so you wanted to concatenate based on id you wanted to concat string values a comma c and at the same time b comma d and then after that three is having only single value so as per uh, this, this particular thing okay particular function list agg under that column name next is delimiter here delimiter delimiter and then here you are going to say within group within group you are going ahead and you are going to give the order by column order by column this is the syntax and then after that you have to give alias column names just keep it group of strings group of strings like that you can write it up now based on this syntax let's try to write it up so list a column name simple string column name and then what is the delimiter you can take the delimiter in single quotes, commas delimiter. Then you can close this bracket and within within group, okay, order by, order by what? Within group, then not group by, within group, here, order by, order by, which column you are going ahead and you are going to take? Simple, you can take simple sample ID, sample ID here and <clears throat> as, as, Okay, nothing but a sample strings, sample strings, write it up like this, alias column. It's it's your wish, whatever you wanted to write it up, you can write it up. And then which table from dummy data table, from dummy data table. Whenever you are using aggregate function, list tag is an aggregate function, how we use uh, average, min, max, sum, same, similar fashion. Okay, we are going to use the list tag. So list tag is an aggregate function. You have to use the group by clause. Group by group by what? Sample ID. Sample ID. You can take that. Then if you can run this query, very simple way, you can run this query automatically. You can see the output is going to come like this. Output is going to come like this. The entire script, I'm going to paste it in the YouTube uh, video description. 
you can practice it at your own system. Thank you, guys.